This is the solution to written homework 20. The purpose of this exercise is so that you can practice doing by parts with integrals. So for this integral we'd like to use the fundamental theorem. <clears throat> uh, so we want to find an antiderivative of this the best thing to do is to multiply this out first. So let's consider this antiderivative by itself. So e to x minus x squared dx. So that is antiderivative of e to 2x minus 2x e to x and then plus x squared dx. So two of these three terms are quite easy to deal with and this term in the middle requires by parts. So what I mean is that this term anti-differentiates to e to 2x divided by 2. This term anti-differentiates to x to 3 over 3. And this term in the middle becomes, uh, I'll factor out the 2 and then get x e to x dx. So for this one we'll need by parts. So this is an algebraic term, an algebraic factor, and this is an exponential factor. So that informs us about our, about our choice for u. So u is x, dv is then everything else, du is dx, v is e to x. So that means that this will be just copying those terms from above, e to 2x over 2 plus x to 3 over 3 minus 2 and now in parentheses u times v x e to x minus the antiderivative of v du So that negative 2 needs to distribute. So that is e to 2x over 2 plus x to 3 over 3 minus 2 x e to x. <clears throat> Antiderivative of e to x is e to x, so then plus 2 e to x plus a constant. So that's the antiderivative. Now we can invoke the fundamental theorem. <clears throat> so the integral 2 to 4 e to x minus x squared dx is this expression e to 2x over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus 2x e to x plus 2 
e to x. Evaluated from 2 to 4. So let's plug that into the calculator. So exponential 2 times 4 plus 4 cubed over 3 minus 2 times 4 <coughs> times e to 4 plus 2 times e to 4. So let's check that real quick. e to 2 times 4 Okay, needs to be divided by 2. Oh, I lost it. Okay. So, e exponential 2 times 4 over 2 plus 4 to 3 over 3 minus 2 times 4 times exponential of 4 plus 2 times exponential of 4 okay so that's the first part and then minus what we get when we plug in 2. So exponential <coughs> of 2 times 2, 2 over 2 plus 2 to 4. 2 to 3 over 3 minus 2 times 2 times exponential of 2 plus 2 times the exponential of 2. Check that. Okay, so the calculator is reporting 1169.036. Find the area of the region under this function and provide a sketch. So the sketch. So log of x looks like this. At 1 is this crossing. And 5 is somewhere over here. So 1 and 5. So that's what the sketch looks like. <clears throat> we can find that area by computing the integral 1 to 5 log of x dx. And we want to use the fundamental theorem, which means we want to compute an antiderivative. And to compute the antiderivative of log, we'll need by parts. So, <clears throat> log of x plus 1 over 5 
1 to 5, and I'll write it as 1 multiplied by log of x dx. So this 1 is algebraic. And this log is logarithmic. So that informs us about our choice for u. u is the log of x. And dv is then everything else. So du is 1 over x dx and v is x. <clears throat> so then it will be u times v, so log x times x, evaluated from 1 to 5, minus, anti uh, minus integral 1 to 5, v du. <clears throat> so x times 1 over x cancels, and we just get dx. So evaluating this, this would be log 5 times 5 minus log 1 times 1, but log of 1 is 0, so 0, and then minus antiderivative of dx is x, and then evaluate from 1 to 5. x evaluated from 1 to 5 is 4. So that's log of 5 times 5 minus 4. <clears throat>